Hello, hello everyone. Sonia here from the Joe Baradin. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Instagram highlight covers cute. All you need is the free app called Canva and Instagram, of course. So what you're going to do is open Canva like I just did and go over to the very top where they have all of the templates you can choose from and scroll over to your story. It'll be right next to the Snapchat geo filter one and click on the blank template. Click on the white background and then it'll have a little plus sign under used for where you can choose your own color or you can, you can of course choose any of the ones that they have down below, but I like to customize mine. With a little slider, you can make it whatever you want or you can actually change, if you have the hex number, you can change that. Um, I screenshotted a template that I made the other day that I really love the color from that I was using and I wrote it down after that, so I'm just gonna input that here. I'm gonna use this one. It's a nice, cute, peachy color. Goes with my theme. And then after that, you're done with the color. You can click on the plus sign in the bottom right corner to add another element. And I'm gonna start with some text because I'm gonna show you that you guys can do just a text cover or you can do a icon cover or you can do both. In this sense is what I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to title it home for anything home related, like home decor. I'm going to make the text box a little bit bigger. I'm going to change the size of the font. I like that size usually around there. I'm going to change, I'm going to change the font. They have a lot of really fun choices. I like this Arbo text. Then I'm gonna change the color. And I usually like white when it's against a colored background, just because it shows best, especially in that tiny little bubble for the highlight reel. Um, white usually works the best. So I'm gonna do that. And if you wanted to just go with a text cover, this is all you would need to do. You could stop designing right here and save it like this but I am gonna show you how to add a graphic. So I'm just gonna add it to the top. It won't be seen in my actual cover, but it will when it shows up in the story. So I'm just leave it like that. I'm gonna add another element with a little plus sign in the corner and go to graphics. And here are all the design elements that you can add. The ones that are free will show up as free. And then the ones that you have to pay for will show up as needing a credit. The little hamburger icon and then a one. Um, a credit is usually like $1.99. So if you're willing to cough that up for an extra cute um, or just one that you're really wanting graphic and you feel justified with that, then that's totally fine. I did, I did it for one, just one of my covers. And so I was like, okay, since I did it for just one, then... I feel justified and it was, if, if you go to my highlight, highlight reel for Sony Joe Bear, you'll see it's the pregnant woman one. Um, that's the one that I, cause they just didn't have very many others to choose from. And that one was the one that worked the best with all the other icons that I had made. And so I chose to pay $1.99 for it. But I felt like since all the other ones I didn't have to pay for, that it was a good deal. So I like this free one right here. Because, and I'll show you, if I were to choose one of the other ones, I have to go back to search for it because I didn't choose the one first. If I chose like this one, which is a cute graphic, right? Um, some of them, because they're a little bit more advanced of a clip art graphic, you can't change the color. You can only change the transparency for. So that I'm going to delete because I don't want to use this one. I want to be able to change the color. So to delete it here at the top, you just click on the trash can. Really easy. Okay. So I'm going to search for house again. And I'm going to do the green one. I'm going to change it to white so it matches. And I like that size fairly good. Um, but you can change the size like this by dragging the corners of the graphic. Um, but I like that pretty much. You can also move it by clicking on it, dragging it around. I like to make sure that mine are centered. So I actually think I want home to be at the top a little bit more, just in case. All right, but that's done. 
So when you're done designing, all you need to do is click share in the top right hand corner and that prepares the design to be saved to your phone. And then it pops up with some options. Um, I always click save image because that saves it to my camera roll that I'm done. And it'll show up in your designs just so. And if you have text on it, it'll just say home. Um, that's how you can title them. So if you want to stay organized, I suggest adding the text. Um, and that is an easy way to stay nice and put together and organized in your Canva app. Next, open Instagram. The first thing that you want to do is actually add that graphic to your story. Just so. Go to your profile. Here is my highlight reel. It's going to show up first. So... The one, the story highlights that you most recently edit will always show up first, even when you just add to it. Um, but I'm going to make a new one. Click new. And here's all of my story archives from last little while. I'm going to click on home and next. And see, it shows up with the little house. If I wanted the text to show up, I would just have to do this. You can move it around, but because I put it fairly close to the top, it's not letting me um, do a whole lot there, but I wanted the graphic to show. So I, you can change the size of it, and that's why I didn't care so much about changing the size of the little house graphic in Canva because I knew that I could come in here and do it. So that's done, and then you want to make sure that you title it. I'm going to title it home, and then add. And there it shows up right next to all the others. It's a really fun way to, and just super easy to organize and make your highlight covers put more together. You can choose a color scheme that goes with your profile or your theme feed, if you, your feed theme, if you have one. Um, it's super fun, super easy. And that's, that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'd be happy to answer them. Bye guys.